Welcome to South Central Regional Library's Safe Inside Your Walls programming, supported by Safe at Home Manitoba. Hey guys, okay, so today we're gonna learn how to draw dragons. Um, I just published my brand new book, Dragon Nanny, which I drew and came up with the story as well. And everything in Dragon Nanny started off as a traditional sketch on pen and paper. And then I brought it into the computer and did the final painting there. But you really can't do all the fun computer painting unless you know what you're doing with normal pencils and markers. So we're going to draw some dragons with uh, some markers. So what you're going to need is a good piece of paper. And we're going to need a lighter colored pencil or marker and a darker colored pencil or marker. So I'm using a bit of a lighter green, and then I'm using my black uh, marker as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw the dragon first in your lighter color, and then you kind of trace over your own drawing with the darker color. And what this does is it kind of lets you feel out the drawing with a kind of like a practice drawing, and then you trace your own drawing with the darker color, and it, uh, it just makes everything look better. Okay, so again, I'm using a bit of a darker color. You might want a lighter color. And you're gonna be really loose with this first drawing. You're just gonna kind of feel the dragon out without really pressing too hard or spending too much time detailing anything. So I just kind of like squiggle and doodle. I always like my dragons to have a lot of spikes. So definitely have a bunch of spikes there. If you just keep in mind, this is not your final drawing. This is just kind of your practice sketch. And dragon's bodies are actually kind of similar to horses. If you draw horses, their legs and tails kind of work a bit the same. And we'll get a big tail going there. And then the under bit of the tail is kind of the same as the under bit of his chest here. And then we'll just do tiny wings. So wings, you do the fingers of the wings first. And then you kind of connect the fingers. So I kind of ran out of room there. The dragon's wings are kind of going off the page but that's okay and then how many eyes should this guy have maybe just we'll just do two eyes and a nose maybe a spike at the end of the nose I always like that and then dragon's legs go back first and then they go forward again just like a horse's and at the end, I always like doing big paws, kind of like a tiger or a jaguar. You get these big claws. Okay. And then teeth, gotta have teeth. So this was just to get an idea of what I wanted to, to draw for my dragon. So now that I have the underlying drawing done, I'm going to pull up my black marker and start tracing over my own drawing with this black marker. And you can do this with um, pencil crayons work really good. If you do like a lighter pencil crayon and then like a darker uh, pencil, that works as well. But this really helped me improve my drawing using this technique of doing the lighter underdrawing and then drawing over top. And if you look at original like Marvel and DC and like the, the really big professional comic books, if you see their original pages, that's what they look like as well. They draw everything in blue line and then they ink over top of it, like very similar to what we're doing here. 
you can kind of see like I'm not just tracing over my first drawing. I'm kind of improving upon it. I can see where I wanted to change things and make things better. And uh, don't worry if you're not quite keeping up or if it takes you a bit longer. I've drawn hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. So that's why I'm able to work a little quicker. Because when it comes to drawing and painting, that's the only real trick is practice. It's all about practice. making everything spiky. The only way to get good at dragons is to draw a lot of dragons. Tails are always a lot of fun to draw. And then some more spikes on the back there. And so those back legs, I just kind of add another line kind of shadowing the front legs and just kind of shade them in so we don't have to draw them. It's kind of a lazy trick, but if it works. And then add some extra little lines just for, you know, to show that it's a little worn. It's not just a, it's a dragon who's lived in the wild, so he's got some battle damage and stuff on them. And then just add a bit of ground. So it looks like he's standing on something. And there's I. And then make sure you sign it and date it. So it is March 2021. And that's it. I hope that was, uh, yeah, I hope that worked for you guys. Bye. Thank you for joining us for this Safe at Home Manitoba production. Stay safe inside your walls.